Hey, in this YouTube video, I'm going to show you how to mass select records and delete them from a custom object. So, custom object records using Sockwell and Salesforce. So, I'm going to go over to Salesforce. Basically, what I have is I have a custom object here called invoices and it has 85 different records. And if you click up here, there's no option just to delete all of the records here. Uh, so, if you wanted to just delete them, you'd have to go click here and click delete and uh, mass delete which is an app and if you go over to setup and you search for mass delete the mass delete doesn't work on custom objects so you have to use Sockwell in order to delete records on custom objects that you make I'll show you how to make custom objects in my first apex video uh, so basically I'm going to show you now how to mass delete custom object records. So you have 85 records here that you want to delete and instead of just selecting them one by one, you basically um, you click here and you open up your developer console if you're at least in a developer edition of Salesforce. So you're going to go up to, uh, right now you're in the developer console of Salesforce. So down here you just select query editor and then here you can enter SQL or social queries. So it's basically the same formatting as normal SQL. So if you know SQL and you watch my SQL video, you can basically write the same kind of code. It's uh, slightly different. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just going to select ID and name from invoice underscore underscore C. Uh, this is the object I'm selecting from and these are the two fields that I'm selecting or the two columns. So basically if you go to object manager and you scroll down to um, if you scroll down to the object that you're working with, so I'm working with this object. This object is I created a custom object and as denoted by custom object and underscore underscore C automatically gets applied to every custom object in Salesforce. So basically um, if you click on here and then you go to fields and relationships, here are all the different fields on the invoice. So basically I'm going to select uh, name and I'm going to select ID. There's an ID associated with every single object in Salesforce and you need to supply the ID in order to use a select. You need to use ID as a field. So I'm going to select ID comma name from invoice underscore underscore C. The name is this column right here and then I'm going to click execute. So what this does is it pulls 85 rows and it gives me all the unique IDs um, associated with these and it also gives me all of the names associated with these records so basically um, if I want to I could just click here and I could scroll down and hold shift and then click again and then select delete rows and it says delete 31 rows from invoice underscore underscore C and I'll click yes now if I execute the query refresh grid um, I click refresh grid I only have 54 rows now and now if I go over to all invoices I'll click refresh and looks like there's only 54 uh, records here also so I just deleted those records and I guess I'll just delete the rest of them so I'll go over here hold uh, shift and then I'll press delete row over here click yes and refresh grid this takes a few seconds to process all the deletions so all those got deleted so I'll refresh here now I have zero invoices and when you delete stuff in Salesforce it goes to your recycling bin for I don't know like 15 days or something so you could empty the recycling bin or you could choose to restore all the records I'm just gonna empty it and now those are completely deleted records so that's how you can mass delete custom object records in Salesforce using SQL